All right, last one we're going to look at here for our ratio operations um, is, you know, the recipe for uh, any big company's apple juice. Um, a lot of it's water. A lot of it's not actual apple juice. So the ratio they use is for every 18 cups of water, there's 30 cups of apple juice. So what I want to know is if there's 14 cups of water, how many cups of apple juice would that actually be okay so we're gonna set up this table again and try to figure it out now this one's interesting because we couldn't add up by 18 because and 30 because 18 is already bigger than 14 so we're gonna actually have to break this down into smaller pieces which is gonna be fine it's gonna work out just great okay so on the flip side here uh, I've got the water portion and uh, the juice portion okay and I just want to break these down into ratios that we could use to possibly add up to okay so I want to start with finding numbers that go into 18 and 30 so we can do some smaller ratios because remember if we're going to divide and make these uh, smaller we have to divide the same number. So we can start with any number of things here, okay? I'm going to start by dividing by 2 and dividing by 2, okay? So one thing that we can put on there is that 18 divided by 2 is 9, 30 divided by 2 is 15. So a new ratio we could use is, we could use 9 to 15, okay? That may help us when we add up. So I'm just going to keep that one in mind. 9 to 15. Okay. Now I'm going to start back in my original one here. Uh, something else that we could divide. I know that 6 goes into both of these. So let's say I divide by 6 and I divide by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Okay. Okay. Now we've got 3 to 5. Uh, that's something that may help us out uh, in the future here, okay, as we're adding up. That's something that might help. Uh, let's see here. Something else we could do. Mm, let's see. Um, we could divide this by 9. Now, this is going to be interesting because it's not going to come out evenly. But we may need it to be divided by 9 because we may need this to be 2, okay? So let's try this. Let's divide by 9 and divide by 9. If you need a calculator, feel free to have one. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Okay, now, 30 divided by 9, uh, we may have to do some rounding because it may be a, a long decimal. 30 divided by 9, yeah, 30 divided by 9 is going to be, it's 3.3 repeating, so I'll just put 3.3. Okay, but that's fine too. Now, the thing is, we probably have enough to figure out what 14 of these is. Because so, it's some combination, we're going to be able to add up to 14 here. Okay, But I'm going to do one more just so we have another one. I'm going to divide by, how about 6? Okay, 18 divided by 6 is, oh, we already did divide by 6, my bad. My bad. We can keep with what we have here. Um, the only thing we haven't divided by is 3. That's the one I wanted, was divide by 3. Okay. 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6. Uh, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay. Now, you can choose any combination of these numbers that add up to 14 and use them. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I could do two sixes and a two. Six plus six is 12, plus two is 14. So that means I'm going to need two of these and one of these. Uh, so if I do 10 plus 10 would be 20. 20 plus 3.3 is going to be 23.3. Okay, that would be just fine. Okay, now I should be able to choose any combination that adds up to 14 and it's still going to be 23.3. Okay, so let's try something different just to make sure here. Okay, um, 
I should be able to do a nine. Let's see, how about, uh, and I'll put tally marks to tell me how many I'm gonna use of each one. I'm gonna use one nine. Let's use one three, that gets us up to 12, and one six, okay? So nine and three is 12, 12 and six is not definitely not 14, let me change that. Let's do one of these here, let's do a two. There we go, I'm having problems today. Nine and three is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, so that equals 14. Now, we should be able to add up the other column and get the same thing with one of each of these. So 115 is going to be 15, and the 5 would be 20, and then a 3.3 .3 is going to be 23.3, which is nice. That'll work out just fine. Okay, we could pick another combination of numbers that'll work out just fine. Uh, let's see here. We could do, actually, I could do seven, I could do seven twos. Okay, because I know that seven twos is going to be 14. So, I mean, I could list them up here. I could do two, 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 two another two, and I know that would be 14. Um, but it's a lot easier probably just to do two times seven, because we know we have seven of them. So now we'd have to do seven times 3.3. Let's think about what that would be. Seven times three is 21. Uh, let's see, 21, or... 0.3 times 7 is going to be, uh, what will we have, 2.3 or 3.3, 2.3. So that would also equal up to 23.3. Any combination of these numbers will work out just fine, just as long as they are the same ratio. Okay. Now, let's check and see if we are right. Now, since we've got a decimal in our answer here, when we go to divide, as long as it's really close, we'll be okay. So I'm going to go back to our original one here. Our original one was 18 water to 30 juice. Okay, so I'm going to do 18, 30. What we ended up getting was 14 to 23.3. And remember, there was a lot of three. So when I do this on a calculator, I'm just going to put as many threes as I can fit in that screen at one time. Now if I divide them out, let's see what we get. And they should be roughly the same thing. 18 divided by 30 equals 0.6. Okay. So this was 0.6, this one right here. So we would expect the other one to be right around 0.6. And it's going to look pretty funny, I think, but I think it'll work out. 14 divided by, and I'm going to put 23.3333333, as many threes as you can fit, equals. Okay? And on here, I got the same thing. I did get 0.6. I was a little surprised I got the exact same thing. On your calculator, if you did this, you might get 0.5999999 and have the nines keep going. But if you think about it, if you take this 5 and look at the 9 and round it up, you've got 0.6. So you've just got to be flexible enough to uh, think about those as you're doing them.